I thought it might be useful for some people to know how I'm controlling the whammy pedal from the uh, TC Electronic Nova system, which uh, I found really useful for live purposes. If you have the whammy 5, I don't know about the other models, but it has a MIDI in here, and the TC Electronic has an in, out, and a through. So what that means is you can send MIDI information out to the whammy pedal. That means I can make a preset for a sound in here, and as part of that preset with maybe modulation, delay, or compression, or whatever, as well as that preset, I can send some MIDI information to the whammy to maybe have it change settings. So for example, this is how I do it on gigs normally. I have these little stickers and it tells me where the light needs to be on the gig in the dark and this little arrow tells me whether the pedal wants to be up or down. You can see it's not the ideal way of doing this on a gig, especially when lights are dim. When you're attempting to perform you don't want to be crawling around on the floor on your knees. So I thought this was, would be a great idea. So I'll just show you how to do that. So if we have a look at one of my presets in here that I'm using for the band Bud Pollyanna that I'm in, if I scroll through my presets, I'm trying to remember which one it is now, I think it's three. Okay, this is a good one to use. This is a track that we play called my Incubi. And what I have is in this bank I have my basic sound on um, as 3 1, which is pretty much just a bit of reverb just to take the edge off it. I'm actually using the distortion from the Rottweiler over here for that. But there is a solo in here which is harmonized in major and minor thirds in this track and this is why I have this sticker here telling me in the gig to scroll round to major and minor thirds with starting with the pedal back which is the minor third that's a kind of a pain and what I used to also have to do as well is well it was never possible in the gig but what we would have liked to have done is have octaves at the end which I could do on the whammy but there's just not a gap to get round, get down on the floor and start crawling around noodling with things. So what I have here, the preset, is in the second, uh, in this bank, the second preset, if we look up here, is the whammy. And what that's done is this has jumped over to the major minor thirds. It's also turned the pedal on. I'll just show you that. Hopefully you'll see. So I'll go back to my basic beat preset, which will turn this off and put it back to a default. Okay, you see that? Brilliant. Now what actually, with the TC, I didn't actually need to try and get the octaves on here anymore, because what I do in the third preset, I see I have my octaves there. I've actually just done that on the internal pitch presets. Okay, so the first thing you need to do here is you go into your menu and you would scroll through till you get to MIDI setup, which is where it actually was then, but just to show you, you scroll around on the edit D and then menu to go into that. Okay, and then use D switch hands temporarily, use D to scroll through and you want this to be program change out and that needs to be on. There is a slight issue with that that I'll mention in a second. Okay, so that's the first thing you do. If you scroll a bit further you find in the same menu map out 0 to 1 33. Okay, now This is the important bit. 
you can see if I scroll through here this is each um, menu so we're in the, the zero menus number one that would be zero one over over here you see I've got this set to 33 if we scroll through you see the numbers will be different sometimes mostly the 33 there's a reason for that and then suddenly we get to 4 2 and that's on 8 and we get 3 2 and that's on 14 okay that's because if you have a whammy pedal you have a manual and what it will have is a series of MIDI numbers for each one of these activate, activated and each one of them bypassed. So 14 for example is on 3 2. That 14 is, if I go to, that activates these thirds that I was talking about earlier and turns on my whammy. But the thing is on 3 1 when I have my basic bad Pollyanna sound I've got on 33. That, that actually just flips it back to shallow and it will turn it off. Now you have to do that because you've selected this option earlier program changes out that is not for each preset that is for the unit as a whole every preset you have will send out some MIDI information and what it will do it will actually just send out the number of the actual preset which will do something most likely on the whammy. So what you need to do is set it to something, one of the bypass channels. So 33 is the bypass channel for this particular one. I don't think it matters which one you bypass as long as you're bypassing something. So just to recap, for all your presets where you don't want the whammy to do anything, put it, for example, I've got mine on 33, so that's going to just bypass it and for you need to look up obviously in the whammy manual to find out what the program change information is for each function on the whammy but for example this particular one 14 is going to send it to there so we'll see as I press this there we go And you can see if I go into another bank, for example this one, I have another whammy preset here and you'll see that one there. Okay, so it makes it really quite efficient for live performances. The other thing that's quite neat about the TC is we could actually you can send MIDI information to it to change your presets and your patches and actually in Bad Pollyanna we we actually perform to a click and we have a laptop on stage so what we're sort of thinking about doing is actually sending MIDI information out to the TC electronic so then I don't have to do any stamping at all we can have all the program changes preset to the click in the track so we could have really quite complicated effects changes and whammy bar change whammy pedal changes rather and all I have to do is click on the click on and off the distortion in the loop that would be pretty cool almost completely removes the tap dancing routine from performing <laughs>